it's just letting the last few people come in there, but I'll, I'll get started here. Thanks for waiting. In fairness to them, they, they've been fairly punctual all evening and they've got here fair, fairly on time. Um, welcome to everybody to Cusick Park. It's not often we get here on occasion like this. It's obviously the first time ever that we have the reigning Munster champions are now the reigning All-Ireland champions at minor level. Minor medals obviously are rare in this county. All Ireland minor medals obviously especially rare. We, we honoured the 97 team at the county final here last year and it's, uh, we, we obviously we hope that the other minor titles between now and 25 years time but I'm excited to see what these lads will, will show us in, in the decades ahead based on what we, we've seen in the championship from them this year. Uh, I'm not going to keep you any length of time. All I want to do is introduce the management team and then Liam O'Reilly for the management team will take over and he'll introduce the players to you. They're the stars, obviously. But uh, I'll call the... Just, just to introduce the, the various people involved in the panel, uh, Rosalie Monaghan, I see there, is the physio. So, Rosie, move over here. Hugh, Hugh O'Neill, the S&C, is there somewhere. Thomas Barry. T-Bomb. And Killian Malone is the stats man on that team as well. We belong, Killian. And then the coaches and selectors with Jared Hickey. The Piper, Fenton Leamy. Uh, Donald Maloney. Needs no introduction. And Damien O'Halloran, the coach. R Rob Mulcahy, the SNC as well. Sorry, Rob, I missed you when I did the SNC. Liam uh, O'Reilly. And last but not least, Brian O'Connell. Uh, so be before I hand over to the lads, I, I, I'm just reminded of uh, early, early or late last year there, but maybe autumn, late summer last year, I, I contacted Brian to see would he stay on and do another year of the minors, and he was a bit hesitant. He, you know, they, they had a very devastating couple of defeats last year, awfully, if you remember the final game, and... Tipperary uh, on penalties in, in the minor final in, in, in Limerick in the Munster final and he was kind of humming and hawing and I spoke to Donald Maloney at the time and said Donald said give him a few weeks said, give him a few weeks I'll talk to him and lo and behold he came back and took the job so I'm delighted that we gave the few weeks and uh, we got Bach uh, to take the job I'll hand you over to Liam O'Reilly Liam is going to introduce the players uh, unless you want to speak first Brian or afterwards uh, okay thanks Karen. cheers um, <coughs> Just a, a couple of short words from me, and um, thanks, Kieran. Um, and I think we, we should uh, give Owen the privilege of making a speech that he didn't get the chance to do today. So, Owen, if you have still, <laughs> if you still have that in your back pocket, hold it off one sec. Um, look, we, we we stopped in Broadford, right? Owen's club on the way over, um, and it was really special just to see people on the side of the road as we came in and there was a bonfire that was probably lit half an hour early, it was nearly quenched by the time we got there but uh, uh, delighted to see that and then when we came from Broadford uh, through Tulla and obviously over to here, just to see the people with their flags and their children um, young and old on the side of the road it was, it was massive um, for us and it's going to create such massive memories for us for years to come and for these lads and just like to thank everybody for that and thank all of you that are here right now um, for making this such a special occasion for us and to the, to the pipers that brought us over here. So we went, we did a lap of the a lap of Venice pretty much. Um, and again, just it's such a special occasion. I don't think we should underestimate how uh, important it is. And 
to anyone that I've talked to, I've, um, I've tried to say that hopefully this isn't another big long gap before there's another Munster or minor All-Ireland in Clare. I think this is going to be the start of something. Um, and a lot of that has to do with all those people that are working behind the scenes. So obviously we got all the lads' names called out, but there's so much more going on uh, at underage and development squads in Clare. And I'd like to particularly call out uh, Kieran McDermott, who isn't here, but uh, a lot of this success is owed to Kieran McDermott's vision. And I just want to call him out and give him a round of applause for anyone who know him. Uh, just a couple others I'd like to call out, and I don't want to, uh, for fear of missing anybody, I don't want to go on for too long, but uh, Joe O'Connell, uh, his brother Barry, Barry Corbett, Denise Lynch, all those who were coaches of these lads last year and the coaches that they had prior to being in with us, they did a fabulous job and made our lives so much easier in terms of prepping them to win a Munster and win an All-Ireland uh, final. So to them guys, Thanks a million. Met you on the pitch earlier today, and I don't know if you're here or not, but uh, I'm sure the world will get back to you. Um, thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, where are we going next? Liam? Owen, you want to say a few words? You've never got a chance today. I'm somewhat prepared today, I have a bit somewhere in my pocket here. No, no, I'm not, but first of all, I'd like to thank all of our players over there. There's 34 now, there was 29 after the Munster final, but there's 34 now. And I thank you for all of your efforts during the year. From December all the way up till now, we've trained, we've worked, we've bonded, and it's been a pleasure. So, round of applause, please. I'd also like to thank all of you down there for coming out to support us today. Look, this year has been a journey and you've been a part of it, our supporters. And today you got on our backs there in the last 10 minutes and we couldn't have done without you, so thanks a million. I'd like to thank the county board as well, especially Georgia Murphy and Kieran Keaton for all the work they've done. And to Pat O'Donnell for sponsoring Claire Hurland. The work that you do in behind the scenes, I don't see it myself, I'm hardly aware, but you look, you're incredible, so another round of applause. <laughs> I'd also like to thank our wonderful management team. I won't name you all because for fear I forget someone, but look, you're a credit to everything you represent, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you've done for us. I'll go shin shin, I'm clapping! <laughs> Hello everybody, uh, can we have one more big rousing cheer for the Munster and All-Ireland Minor Champions of 2023? So some, someone came up with the rather silly idea of asking me to introduce the, the 34 players on the panel. And uh, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call your name for a list and I just ask you to stand up and give a wave to the crowd as I call your name. Um, they're not too happy about that, but uh, please encourage them to stand up and, and give a wave to you. Uh, before I call them out, um, the training group were absolutely incredible. And you, you got to see 19 or 20 players today, but you, it is not possible without having a group of 30, 33, 34 fellas that test them in training every night. So some of the fellas that aren't as familiar to you, in any other year in Clare Hurland, they would have been starters on the Clare Minor Hurland team. Such was the, the strength and depth in the group and the guys that came through from the Celtic Channel Challenge panel. So please give them all a, a rousing cheer as I introduce them.
So I think the list is in alphabetical order. I'm going to ask, first of all, our sub goalie, Connor Nash, with an incredible puck out to stand up and wave and salute you. The joker of the squad from Dora Bearfield. The next man is another Connor. This guy came to my attention at Rice College, won the under 16 and a half Monster B title last year for the first time since 1979. And this guy starred at wing forward throughout the year from Airog in the, in the town of Ennis. It's Connor Pearl. The next man, we only have two guys under 34 that are actually underage again next year. So um, to, to actually, you know, that was a deliberate uh, strategy by the management to try, in terms of development, to try and pick as many fellas age, on the age as possible. So the two guys that got onto the panel a year out of their age in this particular year was an incredible achievement. The next guy is an outstanding forward and hopefully next year we'll add another All-Ireland medal his collection from Clare Castle, it's Conor Ralph. The next player is another Connor. Um, this guy got his chance to break into the team uh, uh, during our Munster Championship campaign when, one of, when someone else came down injured. And he came in and he absolutely, there were so few scores got off him in the championship. An incredible man mark and corner back. Connor in for Mina Kilnamona. The next player uh, I'm going to introduce to you, his dad won an All-Ireland medal in 1995. This guy is incredibly pacey. He has a brilliant hand on him, and he, he, he terrorizes defenses when he runs at them. From Cratlow, it's Darren Neville. <laughs> the next man played a step. So this year, uh, for our Celtic Challenge uh, team, the great Sean McMahon from Dora Bearfield. Uh, legendary centre back for Clare, uh, managed the team uh, and did an incredible job with them. And due to his performances with the Celtic Challenge team under Sean, he came into our panel a few weeks ago from Bally it's Daniel Costello. <laughs> the next man uh, from the same club as Finton, um, from, from Clooney Quinn, uh, another inside forward that in any other year would have been, would have been starting, uh, such was the quality of the squad. Uh, again, our cornerbacks did not like marking this fellow in training. It's Dara White from Clooney Quinn. <laughs> our next player um, came on in, late in a number of the games at midfield, and you can see in today, games like today, legs and fitness are, are such a huge part of the game, and this guy is so pacey when he gets on loose ball around the middle of the field and got key scores as we closed out games in the last three rounds of the championship. From Tulla, it's Emmett Mulcahy. <laughs> the next man needs no introduction. I didn't know until recently I worked in the same place as his mother, and uh, the other morning I met her in a coffee shop at work. And uh, she, she told me a bit about what he's like off the field, and I wasn't surprised in terms of his organisation, his attitude since he was a small little boy. One of the most incredible players I think you'll all agree that Claire have seen, our captain and man of the match today, Owen Gunning. <laughs> the next player in particular, today in the first half, was terrorising the Galway backs. And in the Munster final, our goal scorer, a serious paw and a serious finisher, Owen Begley from Clanlara. <laughs> the next man, I think Donald mentioned in one of his interviews after one of our earlier victories, is testament to, to development. And, and, and guys that can develop and when, they, when they're coached, will do what they're asked to do. One of the most coachable guys who came into the squad uh, and brought, got his place in the team and then kept his place and was outstanding at key moments today, breaking balls out of the half-back line. From Clare Castle, the Magpie, Evan Price. <laughs> the 
The next man, what a shimmy. What a dummy he gives when he comes in. He sells that dummy and he smacks the ball over as if he was only on the 20 meter line from 90 or 100 meters from Ina Kilnamon, it's Fred Hagerty. The next player I'm going to introduce to you is another man that's underage again next year, which is kind of incredible when you see the physical presence of the guy and his ability under the high ball. When this man comes on the pitch, we know what to do with the puck outs. They're all going down on top of him. From Kerr Castle, it's Harry Doherty. <laughs> the next man is an incredible engine. He has been incredible for us all year and today he carried an injury into the match and played with adrenaline. He probably wasn't in a fit state to, to be, he was only probably 80%, but you would not know that in terms of how he carried himself around the field and the energy he brought and some of the scores he got in his work rate. From Ina Kilnamon, it's Jack Miskell. What a free taker this next fella. I don't think we've seen freeze since Sean McMahon graced the field in the 90s that can take him like this, but it's not just the freeze. His composure on the ball, his leadership, and he never bats an island. And he's the same when we win. If we won by 10 points or 5 points, whether we win all Ireland or a Munster final. Mr. Coolness personified. What a player. Um, James Hagerty from Ina Kildamona. One of our coaches described this next player as a Rolls Royce uh, one night at training about four months ago. And I think some of you will have seen in terms of how he's dominated at wing back, uh, whether it's as a man marking or driving forward with the ball, an incredible athlete. It's Jamie Mylan from Cratlow. Our next player again came, into, came to, into the panel a few weeks ago as a result of his perf uh, super performances and the feedback we had from Sean McMahon and his management team with the Celtic Challenge and made the 24th to, to start, uh, for, that was listed on the programme today. From Kilmele, it's Joe Casey. The next guy again starred for the Celtic Challenge team. I've seen this guy in club action. He's terrorised me as I've managed my club team. I'm afraid of what he's going to do to us again during the summer. From Tubber, it's Joe Clancy. <laughs> Another man that's underage again next year. Did an incredible job for us in taking on his man, making the ball stick inside, turning over the full back line when they went on the short puck out. Uh, underage again next year. Uh, a star of the future, I think you'll all agree, Mark O'Brien from Cratlow. <laughs> the next man comes from a famous Horland family. Um, he, he did an outstanding job for us and any time we called upon him during the year. In the first round against Tipperary, he played at centre-back in atrocious weather conditions and had an outstanding match. Later on in the Munster final, we introduced him with 20 minutes to go and he got on several balls and did the right thing with every single ball. A super, super year and a big, huge congratulations to Mark O'Connor from Dora Bearfield. <laughs> uh, I, I had the pleasure this year of doing a, uh, doing a lot of work with the goalies. So I've actually got to learn more about goalkeeping from this fella than I could ever teach anybody. Um, and himself and Connor Nash and myself, I suppose, we were coach and player, but we also became great friends. But this guy, I think you'll agree, what a semi-final he had, what a monster final he had. Uh, and again today, puck outs, catching high ball on the line, a star of the future, I think you'll all agree, Mark Sheedy from Six Mile Bridge. I'm smiling because of the next fella, because again, another fella, you say well done when he's after making an outstanding play. 
And whether he's going well or not going well, he's, he's the same fella every time. I read a piece during the week. He's another son of the 95 team. His dad made him watch the 95 All-Ireland 100 times. And he vowed that if we won today, he was going to make his dad watch the 23 minor All-Ireland final 100 times. So Mike Lahalloran, you're going to have to watch the All-Ireland 100 times. Can I introduce to you one of our main talisman, Matthew O'Halloran. Again, if this guy put on the black hel helmet and we asked him to run down the field there, you'd all recognise him straight away. What a speedster. What a player. What a, a potential star we have coming down the road. I think you'll, uh, you'll agree he has lit up the year. Anyone that's been watching the games can see the impact he's had and what a tremendous player he is. From Clanlara, it's Michael Collins. The next man starred in the earlier rounds of the championship in the full forward line. I think he scored four points in our first round against Tipperary, which was critical for us. And all the games along this long journey have, be, have, been, um, have been just so important and different guys have put their hand up and played their part at different stages. Again, introduced in the second half today and got a good score and made that ball stick inside. Michael Power from the market. The next man, uh, again, did an outstanding job today in the play, wearing that 13 at the top of the D roll. Um, huge, huge work rate, turned over several balls and got key scores. Uh, from Dora Bearfield, it's Ogie Fenny. <laughs> the next man, um, one of my, I, I think, will be a serious, serious star for Clare in the future. Mightn't be as well known to you, th those that are not familiar with the club scene, but those of us that play against him in the club scene are all too familiar with this fella. Huge on the high ball, a serious, serious athlete. His statistics in the gym, according to Rob and Hugh, are just incredible. This guy, note his name, this is a star of the future from Tubber. It's Oscar Dunford. Uh, the next player, um, I've been watching this guy a long, long time since he was watching him playing primary schools hurling and primary game. Um, he, was, he, he, he was masterful here in the under 16A final just before Christmas in the final between Ina Kilnamona and Dora Bearfield. A tremendous free taker, a great ball player, Parik O'Donovan from Dora Bearfield. The next player again was part of the Celtic Challenge squad and was sent up to us a few weeks ago. Um, a corner back, uh, a star of the future. Uh, he he, he uh, was noted corner back, a specialist corner back, and did really, really well with the Celtic Challenge team, and that's why he was called up to the panel. Parik Redden from Clanlara. Um, the next guy is after making one of the most incredible recoveries from injury. He was starring for us during the Munster Championship. Uh, he was coming up to us uh, in, on crutches after having knee surgery, saying, I'll be back for the All-Ireland final. And we were kind of shaking our heads at him. Um, he came back, he recovered, he got his medical clearance. Um, a brilliant, brilliant player, a star of the future was introduced today in the second half as a blood sub and then came back on later and got an incredible score from under the Ardon of Quinan, Owen Carey from Cratlow. <laughs> Our next man has been the guy that in training, if you're playing an A-B an a, match, nobody wants to be on this fella. Serious hand on him, def strong defender in the air, uh, none of our forwards really want to go in on this fellow when we're playing a training match. Uh, from the local club here in town, uh, Robert Loftus from Aero. <laughs> Trigger is the next fellow's name. Some of you might know him as that. We became familiar with the nickname. 
earlier in the year um, as, we, as, we, as we watched him. This guy was asked to go in full back, but I've seen him play centre forward for his club and he's broken my heart on uh, more than one occasion. What an incredible job he did for us at full back. In the bridge against Cork, the ball that he carried up the field and struck over the bar from 100 yards and jogged back to his position as if he was after just knocking it in was just incredible. His hamstring went just before half time today and the boys came in and replaced him, but he has been an incredible leader for us all year and I think you'll agree, a serious star of the future. It's Ronan Keane from Killinina. Uh, the next man is another Ronan. Um, I've been familiar with this fellow. I've been coaching him since he was six. Um, he's a serious, serious engine and a work rate. And around that middle third, um, it is just so, such an important part of our game to be on this wing, on that wing, back at midfield, back in the half forward line. He went to midfield in the second half today when we had to reshuffle due to injury. Uh, from the Banerjee Eight Club here in Ennis, Ronan Kilroy. The next fella, another guy that came into us as a result of his performances in the Celtic Challenge. I think in any other year, this guy would have been corner forward in a clear minor team. He's incredible pace and touch and skill and can take a score. From O'Callaghan's Mills, it's Johnny Boyce. And in alphabetical order, number 34 on our panel with an All-Ireland medal in his pocket tonight. Uh, has been brilliant for us all year. What a striker. He can take that ball and at ease, he can just swivel. He has a look at the posts. Even though he seems to be under pressure, he can bang that ball over from 80, 90, 100 yards regularly with accuracy and a serious engine and a work rate. From the market in Fergus is Sean Arthur. Okay. Thank you all for listening uh, as we went through the 34 and for being so patient with us. So, one last time, I'd ask you to give a huge cheer for the All-Ireland Minor Hurling Champions of 2023. Unclaw, thank you. Thanks, folks. That ends the formal part of it. Uh, the players will be down there to meet with you and take photographs and sign autographs and all that stuff. Uh, so thank you all for turning out and giving them the, the welcome home they deserved. Uh, we look forward to next Sunday. Hopefully we'll have something similar. Good luck.